When people think about Seattle, they think about the Space Needle, they think about the Supersonics, RIP, the Mariners, and Ichiro, and they also think about the Pike Place Market, which is the oldest continually operating public farmer's market in the United States. It's been open since 1907. It is one of the most visited landmarks in the country and also in the entire world. The market is also home to the original Starbucks, and the mascot of the market is Rachel the Pig, this giant cast bronze pig that's actually a real piggy bank and collects thousands of dollars every year that goes toward the market social services. Where we're going to right now is Pike Place Chowder, a business that opened in 2003 after it started winning all of these New England clam chowder contests in the Northeast and it became so successful with their secret recipe that they opened their place in the market. We're heading there right now to try their New England clam chowder and some of their other chowder variants and I can't wait to try it. What can you tell me about the business and how long it's been here? I opened it with the owner. He owned a restaurant over in West Seattle. On Fridays, we decided to start serving clam chowder. Everybody died, they loved it. So with that recipe, they started having competitions in Seattle area and we took first place every competition we were in. We started competing in Oregon and California, took first place, first place. Well, the National Chowder Cook-Off in Newport, Rhode Island called us and said, why don't you guys come out here if you yeah, think you have such a good we'll chowder? So we went back there and we took first place three years in a row. Wow. But after you've won three years in a row, you can't compete anymore okay. for 10 years. Okay. That's when we opened the Chowder House. We've been here since 2003. So you can re-enter now though? Yes, and we have okay. re-entered oh, yeah. and have taken first place again, but they've wow. closed that competition down. That's where we're at this weekend. You closed, the, you we closed, closed it down. We closed it down. You gotta take a break. You gotta let somebody else win. I know, right? Where did the recipes come from? This New England clam uh, recipe actually came from an in-house chowder cook-off. One of our chefs, was his mom's recipe. Okay. So we took that recipe and we tweaked it a little bit and that's what we're serving today is that. It seems like it's crazy popular. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Give me a little bit of a rundown of what kind of things you have here. Okay, so the New England clam is our most popular. The seafood bisque is the second most popular, and those are both award winners. And then we also have a Manhattan, which is a tomato-based clam chowder, okay. and the seared scallop. And that's my personal favorite. Well, I feel like I have to get an original, so we'll get the New England clam. Let's do a small Manhattan clam. Cool. And then let's do your favorite in the bread bowl. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Look at this. What's going on? You following us? I've got my three chatters, New England clam, seared scallop, and Manhattan clam. So being from Boston, Chris and Yolanda have very strong, very well-formed opinions about clam chowder. We're gonna have a little tasting right now. So we have New England clam chowder. It is a milk or cream-based chowder, so it's definitely a little bit thicker, a little bit richer. Would you guys say you're fans of clam chowder? Yeah. Clam chowder, definitely. And it tastes like we've got some potatoes and celery and definitely bacon in this. Maybe some parsley maybe a little bit of dill. And the clams are just kind of like little meaty morsels that go along with the rest of the soup. This is really nice. I've had some chowders that are a little too runny and this is just the perfect combination of it is definitely rivaling some of the best chowder I've had in Boston. I, really I, I might get punched in the face when I go back home. <laughs> Someone hears this. That's what but, I'm saying. People are going to watch but, this, Chris. And I'm starting to regret that. <laughs> Thanks so much for, for having some chowder with you, me. Thank you, Vegas. I really appreciate, I appreciate it. It's really great to talk to you. Yeah, you too. This is the seared scallop, and I wanted to get it in a bread bowl. And I got to say, the bread bowl for a chubby, carbohydrate-loving child like I was, was just the holy land because it just like sops up everything and you get that nice, soggy, drippy bread. Let's just get into the scallop now. This is very similar to the New England clam chowder. In other words, it's very good. The difference is I taste a little bit more dill, so it gives it a little bit more of a pickly flavor and it tastes like maybe it has a tiny bit more acid in it, which is nice. So it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit sweeter, and you definitely have more of that herby dill flavor. And then I'll get a piece of this bread as well. Oh yeah, it just tastes like being a kid. And the sourdough is nice because sourdough obviously has a very sour flavor profile. So it sort of completes it nicely, especially when you have that 
creamy, bacon, salty. That could get pretty overwhelming after you eat an entire bowl of this stuff. Let's move on. Manhattan clam chowder. This is gonna be a little bit of a sore point for all you New Englanders out there. So why is this red? It's red because what seems to be lacking in, say, potato, seems to be made up for in tomato, onion, celery. Clam chowder of the Manhattan variety, so offensive to New Englanders that uh, the Maine legislature once tried to pass a law prohibiting the use of tomatoes in clam chowder. I think this is very much up to the personal taste of the eater. This tastes more like uh, tomato soup, parsley, that celery flavor, which I really love, really comes through, but this is very strong. It's nice to almost have this contrast when you have the thick creaminess of the New England chowder to have the tart acidity of the tomato. If you like tomato soup and you like clam chowder, then, then you'll, you'll definitely like this. Pike Place chowder, ma'am. I can see why there's a line down the street to get some of this stuff. Just had some delicious chowder from Pike Place Chowder here in the heart of the public market in downtown Seattle. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime, and if you'd like to watch more, please click here. If you thought Swedish espresso bars were a thing in Brooklyn, you got another thing coming because I'm predicting Dutch baby stands on every corner from Dumbo to Bensonhurst, baby. Or it's Dutch, Dutch baby.